Howdy YouTube, a really cool review for you today. We're taking a look at a much older figure in the 90s, the toy company, basically, I think, of the decade was Kenner. Alien, Predator, Star Wars, didn't matter, Terminator, what the big name franchise was, Kenner were on it. They released some of the best Star Wars figures of all time. They even stack up well against today's standards, especially now that today, for cost purposes, they've gone back to the old school articulation. We've got a little bit of a rare figure on our hands here, and that's because we've got the Cruise Missile Trooper. This is part of the expanded universe, a great looking thing. I picked this up for 10 bucks, so I'm extremely happy. Uh, I'm keen to see what it can do and what it looks like. I know you can uh, move it around a little bit and change its shape a little bit. Comes in the old school retro style Kenner packaging, which I absolutely love. It's pretty cool looking, taking a look at the back. You can see there, I guess, a, a better shot of it, what it transforms into. Uh, I love it. Back when they put effort into their toys, you know. Uh, we've got the Skyhopper, we've got the Rebel Snow Speeder, some of the other figures in the wave what have we got at 6.2 meters cruise missile craft one pilot dual laser cannons twin proton torpedo launchers the spearhead of the imperial navy is the cruise missile trooper this highly maneuverable craft is often the first wave of any full-scale imperial assault on rebel alliance military outposts resembling missiles in size and structure cruise missiles are actually one person assault crafts piloted by an elite tie fighter pilot you can pause it and read the rest of that for yourself it is pretty cool i like that they went to a lot of effort with that so let's get this opened up and out of packaging <laughs> I just want to quickly show you guys what you get in this set you do get some sticker decals uh which is nice you know you can put on your tie fighter customize it stylize it however you so choose so that's kind of cool and then uh, i'm going to flick through this just because these are all the toys of my childhood and i have to do it so let's run through what have we got we've got uh all the greats in my view gi joe say no more classic uh xrc i never had so i'm not sure what that is tonka obviously the trucks starting lineup uh i don't recall that Batman and Robin, the animated series, the best animated series of all time. Don't care what anyone says, that is the best animated series of all time. Not far off is the Superman animated series, which is also really enjoyable. Action Man, iconic, loved it. Nerf, say no more. Dragonheart, I uh, don't know what that is. Batman, Total Justice, and also we've got the, uh, is it Batman and Robin? Uh, movie with uh, Jim Carrey and the Riddler and Legends of Batman. Those figures were all fantastic. Star Wars, iconic, great figures again. Transformers, Beast Wars, the best Transformers show of all time. Some fantastic figures. Um, Gargoyles, another great show. More Batman stuff. And then we've got Supersonic Power. Great things of my childhood. Absolutely love it. And then check this out. I'm going to go through this. I'm sorry if uh, you don't like it. You can skip forward a little bit. But these to me are the best toys ever made nothing beats these this is what i grew up with the quality stacks up for today's standards also han solo and hoth gear the chewbacca tie fighter pilot look at the guns that the tie fighter pilot gets wouldn't mess with him boba fett iconic luke the darth vader uh macho darth vader i'd love to get my hands on that to be honest uh then we got c3po the new droid by the way in rogue one i thought was fantastic Taking a look, what else have we got here? We've got uh, something eating Han Solo up the back there. We've got a crowd control stormtrooper. Check that out. That's I love it. In the 90s, everything had to have a gimmick, and all the gimmicks uh, were pretty bad. <laughs> Millennium Falcon, Boba Fett, Slave One. I loved Shadows of the Empire. That's one of the best games of all time. They also released a Boba Fett IG-88 Bounty Hunter set with a comic book, which I've reviewed on my channel. You can check that out. But yeah, we've got the Slave One. We've got Dash and Chewie in Bounty Hunter disguise. Prince Zizor and Darth Vader as well. Excellent. I love this. This book itself uh, was worth buying for the 10 bucks, just for the memories. Now we've got uh, Batman Forever. Apologies. What figures have we got here? Triple Strike Robin, Night Flight Batman, Solar Shield Batman, Neon Armor Batman. One thing I love too is back then all the toys, I guess because they're made by the same company, 
all fit in with each other. They're the same scale. Now everything's different scale. You've got six inch, three and a quarter, three quarter. You've got six and a half, seven inch, eight inch. It's just like all over the shop. There's no uniformity, and that to me is uh, part of the problem as well. I love it. Look at Jim Carrey's Riddler. Like what is that? It's a cool looking toy. Someone says. Uh, the Batmobile, that, that's pretty sick. I'd love to get my hands on that, to be honest. Even opening it up looks quite decent. I like, like, look at that, the effort they put into the toys. They make it turn into, like, a mini Batcave. You do not get that these days. Legends of Batman, Pirate Joker. Had the opportunity to buy him recently, actually. Uh, not bad, I just couldn't be bothered spending my money on him. Flicking through a little bit more. Crime Squad. I mean, these are all pretty cool looking figures. The animated series, obviously. Total Justice. Dark Side. Nice. Transformers Beast Wars. What a show. Tigertron. Pterosaur was fantastic as well. Rhinox. Where are the Decepticons? Megatron. That's worth a lot of money now. Uh, Scorponok, I loved. He was one of my favorites. He was good value. Flicking through again, we've got the Superman animated series. Always love the Parasite figure from this wave. Going through, we've got some preschool stuff. This is cool. I, I'm really impressed with this retro catalogue. I'm getting more enjoyment out of this than the, the actual figure I bought. Uh, flicking through, more stuff. This is great. Nerf. Look at the old Nerf guns. Back when everything didn't have to be battery operated and automatic. More Nerf. Nearly there. Action Man. Fantastic. Did I have any of these ones? Let's see. I had the Scuba Diver. I didn't have the Kickboxer. I did have Dr. X. Karate Combat. Nice. Power Arm. Tiger Strike I had. Swimmer, uh, and then G.I. Joe as well. Fantastic. That's pretty cool. Okay, and here we have the cruise missile trooper opened up and out of packaging, assembled, ready to go. It looks pretty cool. I mean, uh, now I guess it's in what you'd call the stealth mode, so it's looking very sharp indeed. It's a cool design for something in the expanded universe. I wish that this made it to appearance in you know some of the movies or cartoons or something because it is quite cool i'm actually a really big fan of uh this thing i think it looks great you basically snap the uh rocket engines on and also the wings uh it's got a really sleek shape really nice color scheme i love the red and dark gray that definitely helps uh, in terms of assembly how does it work well basically these things come down and the wings Hang on, come up, change the order a little bit of that. There we go, so we've got the wings up and the rockets down. Now you can adjust the rockets any which way you like, but it's pretty cool. And then you push this back to reveal the uh, TIE Fighter pilot, which hopefully you guys can see there. It is literally just the head and upper torso. It's not a uh, you know separate figure, but it does have a swivel head and also swivel arms. If I flip it around at the back, you can see the rest of him there. Some nice detail on, uh, on this. Kenner definitely did a great job with the sculpt. He looks fantastic, I think. There's some great detailing. I mean, it is a, a really cool thing. Again, I picked this up for really cheap. But back in the day, for what it is, it's a, a great accessory. Now, the rockets do fire. There is a little button that you can press. Let's see how this goes. There you go. So, some decent firing action in there. They literally just slide in. It is, for what it is, uh, it's really cool. I personally really like this set. There we go. I mean, great detailing. It is something different, which you don't see every day. You can, uh, you know, I guess change it up a little bit in terms of uh, the layout and the design. But it's a cool-looking Imperial attack vehicle. There we go. Taking a look at it from another angle. It is very nice. And it's a lot bigger as well than I was anticipating. 
which again is always good. If you can find this, I think it's well worth getting your hands on. Definitely something that uh, is different and very cool and unique. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review on the Kenner Imperial Cruise Missile Trooper.